hello this is a uh, video uh, showing this uh, new tool a automix feature on uh, the x32 um, so at this time you can see that i have the tool being set up I, um, and uh, with a, a delay uh, before faders go down of three seconds they will go up as soon as possible and a sensitivity which is set at uh, 0.01 the active channels are one to three, which means that I will have three microphones actually active on one, two, and three. And I'm setting up the tool to be on. You may have seen already that some of the faders are moving. And it all depends on those three microphones. The sensitivities have been adjusted slightly differently on each of the channels so some of them are very sensitive some less and uh, obviously depending on the microphone that I'd be I'll be using um, things are going to move differently so this is microphone number whatever okay let's switch them all off they're all switch off so this is number two and of course if I switch it on probably the mover the fader number two will move okay and three seconds after it will go down. So this is microphone number two, which is on. As soon as the signal is strong enough, as you can see, the fader is moving up and it will stay up for three seconds or, you know, until no sound has been detected. I'm talking to the microphone now. And of course, you know, things are going to stay up. And for three seconds, when the silence actually uh, settles, think the, the, the fader is going to stay up. Two, three. Um, same is true for the other microphones. So I'm putting one down, putting the other up, and I'm going to switch them on both of them. The uh, microphone number one is actually very sensitive, or more sensitive than the other. So obviously when I talk to it, you know, the other one doesn't move, and it will move only if it picks up enough signal, actually, to stay up. Which it does, up to a certain level. You know, uh, getting the microphone closer to me, I'll get, at some point, I'll get to the threshold where it moves up. And both microphones actually go down. Now... I'm now going to use only one microphone, which is microphone number one. One interesting thing is that you can set up the maximum level, or the nominal level, and the minimal level. So if I push, you know, while acting on the microphone, I can push actually the level to the maximum, and then go silent. Going back to full power, the nominal value has been recording to be the absolute maximum. Let's put it back to this one. Same is true for the minimal value. I can actually set it to be this value here, which is not the absolute level zero. So when I talk, it moves up to the nominal value and it will go down to this value here that I've set as the minimal value after three seconds of silence. See? So I can move it down again and that will be the new um, minimum value. So that sets up this, uh, that uh, finishes this demo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.